Hi, welcome you all to Pebbles, class 5 max. In today's class, we are going to see measurement. It's a new topic. Let's start the class. Okay, measurement. What is measurement? First, we must know the meaning of measurement. Measurement is to find a number that shows the amount of something. Measurement is to find a number. It's to find a number. Okay, that shows the amount of something. That shows the amount of something. That shows, it shows what? Amount. Okay, it shows amount of something. A measurement is a standard quantity. It is a standard quantity. Okay, in all the country, it is a measurement is a standard quantity, but it in different uh, units. They are using different units. As do, um, it's a physical, it's a standard quantity. A measurement is a standard quantity used to express a physical quantity. So it expresses in physical quantity. Now we are going to see what are the physical quantity. First one is length, second one is mass and third one is capacity. These are the basic uh, standard quantity we are using in our daily life. So look at this. The first one is we are going to see length. So again, I'll tell you what is measurement. Measurement is used to find the number. It shows the amount of something. And also a measurement is a standard quantity. It's never changed the standard quantity. In all the country, they are using the standard quantity, but in different units. They're using different units, especially it is used to express a physical quantity. There it expresses in physical quantity. What are the physical quantity? Generally, the physical quantities are length, mass, and capacity. In uh, we are using length, mass, and capacity in our daily life. Now, uh, now we are going to see length, the first quantity, first physical quantity. It describes how long a thing is from one end to another. So length is nothing but you know that length is what? Length means it is a long distance so long thing or long distance we measure in the long distance we measure the long thing so it describes how long a thing how long a thing is from one end to another end so how long a thing it measure the distance it measure the how long a thing it what it describe from one end to another end it measure one end to another end so for example pencil tip so far, I'm just showing this marker. So look at this marker. This marker tip, it is considered as marker tip. It is, it measure in millimeter. And after that, the marker, it measure in what? Centimeter. And after that, look at the scale. Look at the scale. This is a, what is this? It is also measure in what? It's a, what? This one centimeter, two centimeter, how many centimeters? That is 30 centimeters is there. In the scales, 30 centimeters. So it is called as one feet. That is called as one feet. That is one feet. So so each uh, unit measures in one centimeter, two centimeters, up to thirty centimeters. This scale is thirty centimeter. So this also measures in centimeters. And out after that, pencil tip it is in millimeter and length of the pencil. Otherwise, we can call it as length of the that is pencil. This is uh, used for example. I pens be what instead of pencil tip I use a marker tip so it is the marker tip is measured in millimeter but the marker is measured in centimeter that is called as our length of the pencil otherwise we can use it instead of pencil we are using marker so this marker measured in centimeter the marker tip measured in millimeter this scale is also what in this place length of the classroom it is in meter but this scale is measured in centimeter each one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter each is one centimeter two centimeter up to 30 centimeters so, so scale is also measured in centimeter and length of the classroom it is in meter for example length of this room length of the classroom so everything is comes under in meter we measure in meter and after the distance between the two places for example uh, distance between the two places mean what are uh, for example what are you going to say? Trichy to Madurai, Trichy to Tanju, Coimbatore to Chennai. So these are the long distance. So we measure in kilometer. So again, I'll repeat the physical quantity. Now we are looking at the physical quantity of length. Generally, why we use length? Because of the measuring the what? Measuring the long distance. Otherwise, measuring we measure the what, how long the thing it is. That is what we use length. Generally. So many uh, what? So many units for length. The first one is very small unit is millimeter. For example, I've told you uh, the what pencil tip. Otherwise, we can use the marker tip. The marker tip is measured in millimeter. The length of the marker measured in centimeter. 
the same time the length of the scale also measure in centimeter and after that uh, length of the classroom or length of the length of the room everything as measured in meter the length of the distance that from one place to another place for example uh, what is this trichy to madurai or coimbatore to madurai so whatever the distance may be so one distance to another distance one place to another distance that is the distance between the two places it is a very very long distance we measure in kilometer so these are the basic units of the what length the first one is millimeter second one is centimeter third one is meter and fourth one is what kilometer so look at these are the what units so look at this millimeter centimeter meter and kilometer so so the formula of uh, what length is so look at this 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter 10 centimeter is equal to 1 meter and 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer so these these are the what you have to these are the what formula you have to memorize for the length of the physical length that is physical quantity of the length again you have to measure this you have to measure Me measure this formula because we are using this formula while you are, if you memorize this formula only we are applying in what problems otherwise we can't do the sums So, ten millimeters equal to one centimeter. Ten centimeters equal to one meter, and thousand meters is equal to one kilometer. Okay. So, this is what uh, you have to memorize.